Proven Gordon, a name synonymous with integrity, a stalwart against corruption. Yet, this very same man once hailed as South Africa's financial savior, has found himself entangled in a web of accusations. How did the man entrusted with safeguarding a nation's wealth become the target of such intense scrutiny? This is the story of Proven Gordon, the allegations against him, and the intricate political landscape in which they have taken root. For years Gordon served as South Africa's Minister of Finance, a sentinel guarding the nation's treasury. His tenure was marked by a fierce commitment to fiscal responsibility and transparency, a stance that earned him both admiration and animosity in equal measure. But it was his unwavering opposition to state capture, an insidious network of corruption that threatened to hollow out South Africa's institutions, that thrust him into the center of a political firestorm. As Gordon fought to dismantle the intricate web of patronage and graft, he made powerful enemies. These figures, lurking in the shadows of government and wielding considerable influence, sought to silence him, to discredit him, to see him fall from grace. And so began a campaign of whispers, of innuendo, of carefully orchestrated allegations designed to tarnish his reputation and drive him from office. The allegations against Gordon are multifaceted, ranging from accusations of financial impropriety to claims of abuse of power. Each accusation, meticulously crafted and strategically deployed, sought to chip away at his credibility to sow seeds of doubt in the minds of the public. Proven Gordon's journey to the heart of South African politics is a testament to his unwavering commitment to social justice. Born in 1949 in Durban, he experienced firsthand the injustices of apartheid. This fueled his early activism, leading him to join the African National Congress, or ANC, in the fight for equality. Gordon's political acumen and dedication saw him rise through the ranks. He played a crucial role in the clandestine operations of the ANC during the struggle against apartheid. His commitment to the cause never wavered, even in the face of immense personal risk. We fought for a free and just South Africa, Gordon once remarked, his voice thick with emotion a country where every citizen has an equal opportunity to thrive. These words, spoken with the weight of history behind them, resonated deeply with a nation yearning for change. His appointment as Minister of Finance in 2009 was a pivotal moment. South Africa was reeling from the global financial crisis, and Gordon's steady hand was seen as crucial to navigating the turbulent economic waters. He quickly earned a reputation for his fiscal prudence and his unwavering stance against corruption. The first tremors of the storm that would engulf Gordon's career were felt in 2016. Allegations surfaced of a rogue unit operating within the South African Revenue Service, or SARS, during his tenure as its commissioner. This unit, detractors claimed, had engaged in illegal surveillance and espionage, targeting high-profile individuals and businesses. Adding fuel to the fire were accusations that Gordon had protected certain individuals within SARS shielding them from disciplinary action despite evidence of wrongdoing. These allegations, while lacking concrete proof, cast a long shadow over his previously unblemished record. Further accusations emerged, this time centered around Gordon's handling of state-owned enterprises during his time as Minister of Public Enterprises. Critics pointed to allegations of mismanagement and questionable deals, claiming they bore the hallmarks of cronyism and corruption. Gordon vehemently denied all allegations, denouncing them as a politically motivated witch hunt orchestrated by those who sought to derail his efforts to combat corruption. These are baseless accusations, he declared in a defiant address to the nation, attempts to discredit me and undermine the fight against state capture. To fully grasp the gravity of the allegations against Proven Gordon, one must delve into the turbulent waters of South African politics. The African National Congress, or ANC, the party that has governed the country since the end of apartheid, has long been plagued by internal divisions and factionalism. At the heart of this struggle lies a battle for control of the party and its vast patronage network. On one side stand those loyal to former President Jacob Zuma, often accused of perpetuating a culture of corruption and state capture. On the other side stand reformers within the ANC, individuals like Gordon, who are committed to rooting out corruption and restoring good governance. The allegations against Gordon, many argue, are a manifestation of this bitter power struggle. By targeting him, Zuma's allies sought to weaken a key opponent and consolidate their grip on power. 
the timing of the allegations, often coinciding with key political events, did little to dispel these suspicions. The divisions within the ANC have had a profound impact on how the allegations against Gordon have been received. His supporters view him as a victim of a smear campaign, a man of integrity targeted for his unwavering stance against corruption. His detractors, however, see him as part of the problem, a symbol of the ANC's failure to address endemic graft.